Okay, like a total doofus and a complete newbie, I forgot to turn on my microphone on my ZI8 camera test, so we will do a voiceover. So here we go. Recently on the Colin Outdoors channel, he showed using his Leatherman Skeletal tool how to baton wood uh, with a multi-tool. And he ran into a problem where when he was batoning his wood, he would uh, have a problem whereby the handles would hit his stump. Now this is my multi-tool which is a Victorinox Swiss tool and uh, it's a great tool but I'm not going to damage, damage it or attempt to damage it by batoning with a piece of wood. Anyways, uh, to rectify the problem of hitting the stump, I suggested to Colin that he move his piece of lumber uh, closer to the edge of his stump so that when he is batoning on it, it will uh, clear the edge. Now this is my Becker BK13 Remora, which is a little fixed blade knife, and I use it as my everyday carry neck knife, and I absolutely love this thing. It's a 440A stainless steel blade. It's about the same length of blade as the Swiss Army typical blade, which is about 2.5 inches. Um, it weighs practically nothing, and I use it in a neck knife configuration. So I'm gonna. Oh, the piece of wood that uh, I'm gonna use to baton here is a from a skid, because the branch that I cut up here, as seen in the picture here, was uh, thicker than my blade is long, and I didn't want to go through the effort of trying to do it with such a short blade. So here we go. So I got a baton. Now I'm just hitting rather lightly with it here. And as you can see, it splits rather easily. I do keep my knife quite sharp. And uh, we'll, we'll do it again here just to sh continue. So I'm not putting a whole lot of effort into this batoning here, but I'm just hitting the, the thickest part of the spine of the knife. And really just uh, takes a few taps and that's it. This one was a little stubborn, so I had to give it a little extra persuasion on the tip, but that's pretty much it. And uh, now that that's done here, I'm going to grab my bushcrafting blade, which is the Becker BK2. Absolutely love this knife. It's currently sitting in a Hedgehog Leatherworks sheath. Brilliant sheath. This is the basic version of it. They also have an advanced version of it, which has a f fire steel slot on the front. And it also has a slot on the back for a Allen key, which um, can be used to take the scales off the handles and access the internal storage pieces. So, and here's uh, another issue I ran into with my camera was a little bit of framing since I was videoing myself, but nonetheless, so hitting this log here, giving it a few mighty whacks with uh, that baton on my Becker, and I think after about three or four I just split right in half, not much to it. In reality, the Becker BK2 with its quarter inch thick blade and its uh, grind on it in a wedging action, it, I don't think it can be beat by much by any other knife of its size for batoning. It's it's just a machine. It's it's incredible. And uh, for the price of the knife, it is an extraordinary value in my opinion. One more time there and uh, coming down to the end here. Uh, I did also take the coating off on my Becker BK knife because it, it just wasn't throwing any sparks off on my ferro rod. But uh, thanks for watching, and that's it.